My name is Jodie Bunting and welcome to week number three of the Alpha Course. Um, this week was about faith, okay? So how do we have faith? Um, and there's three points to this. Number one is the Bible, so the teachings teachings from God. Um, second of all was um, Jesus' actions, so again, kind of what we covered last week, but again, just reaffirming that there was something to believe and make us feel strong. And then the third one was to witness the Holy Spirit, which I just love. This is my favourite subject. Um, and then they've told us tonight about the Holy Spirit Day that we're going to have. Um, inter- interestingly enough, they mentioned the Channel 4 documentary about the Alpha Course, which was on um, a while ago, um, and that's where they got really freaky on the um, on the television show. They got really freaky about the um, Spirit Weekend, and they got them all talking in tongues and everything. Um, and everyone was saying how the Channel 4 show, you know, didn't really show Alpha in its best light. I was actually too uh, too scared to say that. I actually thought it looked really good, and this was the reason, one of the main reasons why I was on the course. Um, but no, you know, I suppose if you know Alpha and you know its limitations and the real teachings, then you know they can criticise it. But me, as a Joe Bloggs, as a non-Christian, looking at the Alpha course on that show, I just thought it was quite good. So, and quite like the idea of the whole uh, freakiness of the Holy Spirit. So I really look forward to our weekend, or sorry, should I say our Spirit Day, which will be later next month. Um, we had a guest speaker today who was a solicitor, um, which I thought was really interesting. Um, and I just did ask her what kind of law she does. Um, and that was really good just to see, um, you know, how something, just with my personal story, um, I I left court because I, you know, thought the Christian way is, you know, to surrender, give out love, get love, etc, etc. But it was quite refreshing to see somebody who can take Christianity into a profession where you wouldn't think um, it was needed. Um, anyway, this girl did a really good presentation, and my favourite, she used a little picture of basically God at a door. Um, the door had no handle <laughs> on the outside, just a handle on the inside, um, and obviously was waiting to be invited in. And the door was like covered in ivy and not, you know, not nice things. Um, and it just showed a representation on, you know, people, are they willing to let people in? And then we were asked, you know, is your door open? Is it ready for Jesus to let in? And I said, um, I think my door was open, um, but Jesus wasn't coming in, you know. I think he was scared to come in. But now thinking maybe my door isn't that wide open. I think it's definitely open, but I'm not sure how wide open it is. But Jesus is definitely more welcome to come in that's I do think that um yeah so that was it another great evening um food was amazing as usual um Anita as always kept kept us entertained um and then Andy um did mention his Tesco which again put a nice positive twist to the end of the night um also had a good chat with Scott, who was telling me about, I was watching today a little program on ITV2, you know, Holiday Showdown, I'm sure you've all seen it, you reality TV fans, Um, and they went to Ghana to do, like, they took basically a Chav family off to a Christian project in Ghana, and I just love the idea of doing something like that, and then Scott, who was at the meeting at the Alpha Course, said about that he's like running a project next year, um, doing something, you know, in that sort of area of Africa, again, with Christian, doing a football thing, which again is great, doing like a fitness-based thing, but again, to help them long-term and really set something up, so that's quite interesting, so I look forward to hearing more about that. So yeah, as we go along, it's getting more, that we're getting, time-wise, it's spending more time there, which is, again, is a great thing, everybody's getting to know with each other, feeling more comfortable about asking questions and you know, really enjoying it, so it's great, the the group is gelling together well. So thumbs up to Andy and Anita, 
and um, I just hope Channel 4 follow Andy and Anita one day on their course because um, I can just imagine Anita having a good fight with the producer saying you can't edit me like that <laughs> it'll be great um, so yes so well done I look forward to next week which is the Bible okay so next week is the Bible and I look forward to that